In this video, we're going to add a very simple splash screen and start button to our Unity Breakout game. For this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you've gone ahead and, and completed the Unity Breakout tutorial that can be found at the following website. Uh, you can see the link to this in the description. So if you haven't done that yet, go ahead and do that. It should take about an hour or so. And when you're done, let's come back to this project. So again, we're going to create a very simple uh, opening screen with a welcome message and then a start button to start our game. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a new scene to be able to do that. So I'm going to go to File, New Scene, and you can see it's created it for me. I'm going to save it as Start Menu. And notice that it's saving in my Assets folder. We're going to fix that in a second. So in my Assets folder, I now have the Level 1 that I've created during the breakout tutorial and the Start Menu I just created and the one I'm currently working on. In order to organize that a little bit better, I'm going to uh, add an, another folder here. And by convention, most people start the scenes folder with an underscore. And what that does is that forces it to be organized near the top, so it's the first place that you look. So I have the scenes, you can see it goes to the top. I'm going to take my start menu and my level one and add them to my scenes folder. And again, it's just, just for organization purposes. Okay. So now I'm in my Start menu. Um, because I'm not crazy about this background here, I'm going to click on my main camera and change the clear flags to solid color and then give my background kind of a similar background color to what was uh, in the breakout game. And again, I'm not going to be it perfect. I'm just going to get it close. And because this is my Start menu, I'm going to add a little bit of welcome text. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create UI text, and I'm going to call this one Welcome. And I'm going to say Welcome to Breakout. Uh, click the Start button when ready. Okay, so I'm going to, because I don't see this here, I'm going to first uh, reset the transform so it shows up in the middle. And you can see now it's in the middle of my game window. It doesn't look that great. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on the design of this. I'll leave that as an exercise to you. We're just going to get the basics. But again, you can center the text. We can make it a different color. Let's make it like a bright red. And if I want to change the size of this text box, I can click up here to this UI editor. So let me uh, go ahead and make sure I see my text. And again, I did that by clicking on the welcome and then pressing the F key when the cursor was in the scene window. And I'm just going to drag this to make this a little bit better there. And let's increase the font size to about 30. And notice I have to, and I'm just changing. And actually, I don't like that hyphen there. Let me get rid of that hyphen. Hit enter. Okay, so now I have a little message. Again, I could make this more detailed. I could put more instructions. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it like this. And I'm going to shrink this up a little bit so it's about the same size as my text. Okay, now I'm just going to add a quick uh, button. And the way I do that, there's probably a couple of different ways I can do that. But I'm just going to add another piece of text. So I'm going to go back to my hierarchy menu. I'm going to create another thing of text. I'm going to call this Start Button. And I'm going to change this to Start. Check the transform. Let's go ahead and reset the transform. And now I'm going to go ahead and move that a little bit. So I'm going to use this tool to move it. I'm going to move it down and over till it looks pretty good. I also want to change the font size of this. 32 looks about right. And again, I'm not going to spend too much time worrying about how this looks. I'll leave that to you. Okay, so now that I have my start label, let's go ahead and make it a button. 
first of all, I'm just going to shrink this so that it just fits my start text so it's not too big. And one of the easiest ways to make this a button is just to add a button component to my start button text. So I'll make sure that's selected. I'm going to add a component, UI, and then instead of text, I'm going to make a button. And you can see it adds a button component to this uh, start text. You can see there's a couple of different things I can do. If I want to change the highlighted color, I can make it so that when the player puts the mouse over it, it changes color. Let's try that real quick. Let's see if we can make it a kind of a yellow, just so we can see how it how the button changes when I move the text over it. So there's now it's a nice bright yellow. In order to see that, let's go ahead and click on the play button. And you can see that nothing happens. One of the reasons is my color of my text is, is black. I'm going to make that white so that my button changes show up more. So I want to make my normal co color on my button. Let's make it kind of a bluish. And now let's see if we can get that highlighted color to work. So now you notice that when I move the mouse over it, the color changes and gives a good indication that I'm ready to click on that button. I can also check change the pressed color of the button so that when I click on it, it changes color. But since it only happens for a, a second, we're not going to worry about that right now. So let's see what happens when I actually click on that button. I'm going to hit the play again. And if I click, nothing happens. That's because we haven't written a script to make something happen when the button is clicked on. So let's go ahead and stop our game. And we are going to, because I need something to attach my script to, we're going to create an, an empty game object, and I'm going to call it Level Manager. Since later on, we're going to use the same script to handle transitioning between different levels of breakout that we're going to do. OK, so I have my empty game object. And now I'm going to add a script to that game object. And I'm also going to call it Level Manager. I'm going to create an add. And you can see that it is created in the assets folder by default. I'm going to make sure I move it to my scripts folder for so it's organized. And then I'm going to go ahead and open that level manager script. I double click on it. And Mono develop should open up. All right, so there's all my other scripts that I've done from the previous um, breakout tutorial. But the level manager is the one I really want. So for this one, since I'm just going to call this one I want to move between levels or scenes, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I don't need it. And because I need the scene manager, I'm going to imp oops, it's unity the engine dot scene management. What I want to have happen when I click on that button is just go to the level one scene. So you can see that in my scenes, my first scene is called level one. So luckily, this is a pretty easy command. So I'm going to start with scene manager dot, oops, sorry, I need to create a method. So let's call it uh, public so I can access it. Void, uh, let's call it start game. And then I'm going to call scene manager dot load scene and you can see when I hit the first parentheses it's asking for a scene name as a parameter well my scene name is just level one and that should be it let me go ahead and save that and let's go back to unity okay so let's now I've created that I've created that script I've created an empty game object for level manager let's see what that if that works so I've got my game running, I go to start, I can see it's highlighted, I click on it, and nothing happens. And that's because I haven't hooked up that script to my button. So let's go to my start button. And if I scroll down to the button component, I see that I have an on click area here, but the list is empty. Let's go ahead and add something here. And right here it says none. I'm going to click on my selector. 
I want to click not on my level manager script, but I'm going to click on scene. I want to click on my level manager game object. And remember that script is attached to that level manager object. So I have level manager here. And now if I click this drop down, I see I have my level manager object here. And I can find my start game method. So let's click on that. So now when the button is clicked, it's going to run this level manager start game method. So let's see how that works. I'm going to click on play. I'm going to click on start. If I click on it, ah, it says here scene level one couldn't be loaded because it has not been added to the build settings, which I forgot to do. So in the build settings, you are telling what scenes or levels you want to add to your final build. Let's go ahead and go to File, Build Settings. And then I need to drag my scenes in the order I want them to appear. Well, since I want the Start menu to appear first, I'll put that one in. And then I'll drag in the Level 1 because it'll go in second. If I had multiple levels, which we'll do later, they would go in order here. OK, so now I have my scenes there. Go ahead and close it. Now let's run it. And I'll go ahead and click Start. And it goes right to my first level. So again, in this video, we've added a very simple splash screen with a welcome message and a Start button. In the next video, we'll add a Game Over screen rather than just having the Game Over text pop up.